So remember, I said there are going to be six journal entries here. They are broken into two different categories. One of them is called accrual, and one is called deferrals. And we'll talk about this. Remember, six journal entries broken into these two classifications. So let's look at accrual first. An accrual happens when you've earned revenue, but you didn't put it on your books yet. Or you used an expense, but you did not put it on your books yet. Okay? So I'm going to show you the two journal entries for accrual type journals. I want you to write these down. Okay, the first one is called accrued revenue. By the way, you're going to write this down. You're always, always going to debit the accounts receivable and credit the revenue account. Always, no matter what. So this will be journal entry number one, accrued revenue. Always debit the accounts receivable, credit whatever revenue account you have. Okay, the next one is called accrued expense. And I'm going to always debit the expense and credit the wage accounts payable. I'm sorry, wages payable, I should say. So this journal entry will always say this, wage expense debit, credit wages payable. Always, 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 always. If they don't use the word wages and they use the word salaries, you're going to put that in there instead. So salary expense debit, salaries wages pay, I'm sorry, salaries payable. Always the same debit, the same credit. So here are two of the six journal entries. These are accruals. Now let's talk about a deferral. So a deferral is when you have cash that's going to happen from a future revenue and you have to put it on your books. For example, I'm going to provide somebody a service and they're going to give me cash up front for future things that are going to happen. When I get the money, it's going to be called an unearned revenue. As time goes on, I will actually earn it. And so I actually have to move it over to the revenue account. Okay. And I'll show you an example in a minute. The second one is called prepaid expenses. And there's actually two that fit this category. So a prepaid expense is when you pay for some cash up front for something. And when you, buy, when you pay for it up front, it's recorded as an asset. But as time goes on, you actually use it up. So let me give you an example of these two. So the unearned revenue will always, always have this journal entry. Debit the unearned revenue and credit the revenue. Always, always, never change. Debit, unearned revenue, credit revenue. You should be writing these down, particularly what I'm telling you always, okay? Prepaid expenses. There's actually, here's journal entry number three. And prepaid expenses actually has two types of accounts. So this would be journal entry four and five. So what happens is I'm always going to credit the expense and debit the prepaid expense. Always. Always. For example, insurance. Debit the insurance expense for the amount of insurance used. Credit the prepaid insurance. Always. Okay, the other one besides insurance for the adjusting entry for prepaid expense would be supplies and rent. And we'll talk about that. Okay. So these are accruals and deferrals. And we and so far I've given you five journal entries, five of the six. So there will be one more we'll talk about. We always start with an unadjusted trial balance. This is where we ended up in Chapter 2, where you did a trial balance, an unadjusted trial balance at the end of the process. But in order to do some adjusting entries, I need to add some accounts. So I'm going to add these accounts. So these are the ones in yellow that I'm adding. Okay, rent revenue. This is a revenue account. This is when I rent something out and I earn money via rent. 
it's going to be attached to this unearned rent down here under liabilities. So these two accounts kind of go together. I added prepaid insurance. Well, actually, that got added in Chapter 2. Insurance expense will be affiliated with prepaid insurance. Wages payable is a new account. This is when you went to work today and you left, but they're not going to pay you until payday, but they owe you money. Okay? So wages payable always matches with wage expense. And finally, I have this new account right here. It's called Accumulated Depreciation Office Equipment. And over here, I have a depreciation expense. So these two accounts go together. I'm going to explain this one later, but let's get started on the next video on how to do these actual journal entries.